I, I, I ran across Anwar doing, doing research on fashion as a kind of a, a thirst to know something about something that I don't know anything about. Um, yeah, I, I, I ran across Anwar. I, was, I want to know about the world that you guys visit. I run across his name. I, I send this hopeful email to see if my name is Eric. It would be brilliant to share information. So that's why we. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm going to talk about the people that, that Anwar has collaborated with, and then I'm going to hand it off to my colleague Sun. I collaborated with Richard and Ted. So that's nice. Full text, Snapdragon, Pacify, Champion, Crocs, DC Shoes, Grey Goose, Tay Swiss, The Hundred, HBO, Rusty Surfboards, Brooks. Jet life. Um, uh, he, he wants this to be a Q&A. He wants this to be an open lecture. This is a conversation. He wants this to be a conversation. He wants this to be all, everyone wants Everybody to be. wants to call. Okay. Honestly, I'm the most surprised that everybody's on stage with. Okay. <laughs> okay, so Santi, Santi's done some research. And so Santi's going to share a little bit of issue. All right, Santi. <laughs> Yo. Boy, Santi here. You just got signed for Rock and Roll Records. Yeah. Why not rap? No Hi. First of all, I want to say if I don't see a shirt on you, I will probably smack you. Yes, I will too. So put on your shirt. These shirts are usually fifty dollars retail and fifty free. Put the damn shirt on. We're all taking pictures. Thank you. You too, sir. Yeah. Where's your shirt? Thank you. <laughs> I'm looking at you up here too, Mr. In our space, black jacket. Yes, you with the wristwatch. He doesn't think I'm talking to him. I'm talking about you, sir. Where's your shirt? Up top. All the way up top. Far left. Put that in your shirt. <laughs> Ladies, put your damn shirt. The whole world, one, two, three, four, five. And the guy with the number just next to you. What's the distance? Okay, all right, all right. I'm watching. You too. Where's your shirt? Where's your shirt? Did you get a shirt? Oh, yeah, I You. Put that shirt on. We're all taking pictures out there. That's the only reason I want to take pictures out there. All right, yes, let's keep on with something. Okay. Um, right? All right. So, I'm very nostalgic about a time where I didn't really exist. And, and looking back, seeing how he grew up with everyone he was involved with, involved with growing up as a kid. I'm old. Yeah, he's old now, but but just seeing how authentic him growing up, involved in music, streetwear, just culture, it's just awesome to see, and and seeing how it evolved now, it's it's like it, it really means a lot to me. So I look back so much on that, and I wasn't even around. Where's your shirt? Yeah, you. Far back, arm over the hump. Put the shirt. I didn't get a shirt. They're all done? Yeah. What? No, that's true. <laughs> 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 okay, you're all good, you're all good, sorry. But I'll make sure you get something. Whoever you get a shirt, you guys you find me after this and I'll make sure you get a shirt. No, there's no video. We're gonna see you. But anyways, yeah, so culture is awesome and be authentic to yourself and I feel like that's what Anwar also emphasizes to people and um, I'm excited to hear what you got to say. He has more to say. More to say? Talk about the history of History? Um, well, it's meant it's research. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to prying it out of him. It's like pulling teeth, and I want to hear what he has to say about me. Because I, I love me. I hope you okay. love yourself. Too. All right. But I love me a lot. So, Omar, uh, he, moved from, he moved to LA from the Virgin Islands at like 
Uh, 14th, 14th, July, July 30th, 2004. Yeah, so we moved uh, from the Virgin Islands into, we went to LA, San Francisco. If he would have failed that, that would be very good, right? But you didn't fail. But anyways, so he moved from the Virgin Islands to, to LA when he was 14. And um, I believe like not many people had dreadlocks at the time. So you just stood out from people? Uh, yeah, more so, like, for sure. Yeah. Where I'm from, a lot of people got lots. Got lots. It's from my life. And that's just the way of life. Yeah, so um, going to high school, I, from what I read online, um, you started uh, seeing this guy, Josh Pease, around. And um, I'm faded in that. But, uh, but you started seeing each other, and you guys had, like, a beef. Initially, that's how best friends work. Yeah. Usually, they the person that's your best friend first. And then oh, it's like by one of them. Your enemy can be your best friend, your worst friend. I mean, your best friend, your worst enemy. Like a vice versa type situation. Yeah. 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 And I think um, growing up just in that LA street, I don't know anything about LA, I've never been there. Um, but, um, Philly. Yeah, so um, you start getting a lot into streetwear. Or into just just clothes in general and just everything, and um, and I believe you started you interned at, at Rogue, uh, what was it Rogue Unit? Rogue Status. Rogue Status. Rogue Status. And um, so we started just meeting all these people and and forming sort of place and, and yep. stuff like that. And I believe once you started at like building your own brand, carrots. Um, you started managing for artists like Casey Fetty and stuff like that. And I think that, that was when it was started, you know, getting momentum and stuff like that, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. I'm Alright, I guess I'm not mistaken. But, <laughs> but, um, so yeah, then it started uh, meeting people around. And that was also a time where, you know, some people that you may know, Tyler, the creator, and, Girl Sweatshirt and all these people started, you know, getting together, skating, just having fun, just being kids in LA. And um, then that started evolving into new things with music, uh, streetwear, and everything. And now it's like this. This is what all that made. All this is like from that. So it's exciting. Let's see how it evolves. You want to take Yes, I please. Give us out there on the Thank you. All right. I wasn't planning on honestly staying up here. I was going to walk through with you guys and talk to everybody personally because I felt like this was more of a conversation than a lecture. How many times have you like, been in class and you said, oh, you talk too much, you shut up, or uh, you make too much noise, you don't know, get to chime in. And by the time it's time for you to ask the question, you forgot your question. Am I right or wrong? All right. Show of hands. Are you guys 18? Who's 18? Who's 19? Who's 20? Who's 21? Who's 22? We're just going to stop there because I'll be 18, 19, 19. Anyways, who said what? It's 63 and 67. Oh, they're one. over and over. Alright, so really more so. Do you guys know what you guys want to do with mine? Because that's why I'm here to have this conversation. It's not more so the power. Clothes, you guys are obviously here for the time. He told me a lot of you guys are doing some dope stuff in here, and I would love to see what you guys are doing after the talk. But I just want to know. Okay, by show of hands, how many of you do know what you want to do? What do you want to do? Um, uh, <laughs> see, it's like it's like kindergarten. They're like, oh, what do you want to be when you grow up? This is real shit. You guys are grown now, so like. Uh, <laughs> I'm here to help you guys figure it out. That's like for me, it's like uh, beyond inspiration. It's like reassessing the mind. Open my own personal. That's fine. 
So what are you doing now to get there other than school? School is great. After school, other than homework, are you putting yourself in environments where it's helping you get there? I haven't really put myself in an environment. Make connections yet, but I'm hoping to That's great. That's one. But okay, build what kind of build? Because I'm learning from you guys more so you guys are learning from me. You have a book from me. There's the internet. You can Google me. I can't Google some of you guys. Tell me right now. So, what kind of buildings? Like houses, offices, any building. They just give me an opportunity to That's fine. Okay. Who else? Show hands again. Who knows what they're doing? You. I'm coming to you. What do you want to do you grow up in a few years? Build malls. Don't say what? That was, that was big shit. You see people with the walls. I got a homie, right? Group two story. I got a homie out there. You know what I'm saying? I just family home. And it's not what they do. It's not far from what you said. I pray. Build the walls. I got three more people. Who else wants to do it? Who else? Okay. Who else wants to do it? Who else wants to do it? I want to build golf courses. I design golf courses. Yeah. You play golf? Yeah. Penny plays golf at college? Yeah. I work at a golf course, so. You work, see? Yeah. That's what I mean. Put yourself in an environment of what you want to do and who you want to be. I got two more people. Who else? Say it, girl. Traveling, 
I love to travel. That's how I learn a lot of things. That's how I get inspired. Like I said, you're going to see that jacket get remade by way of Blacksburg, Virginia. Um, real quick. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I took myself because I know I wanted to be clothing. Thank you to, to Nigo. Anyone know who Nigo is from a Bay and Ape? Uh, I was a very a big Bay fan. I'm a big hip hop rap fan, so that's why a lot of stuff is like hip hop and Jace. Those are Virginia Tech, this is what you wear right now, this is hip hop, this is rap. We'll evolve into that. I'm actually signing a deal with Def Jam Records. I'll be putting out an album soon, so I'm make sure you guys will get my album, because I'm looking at everyone in here. If you guys don't get the damn album, I need my strings. I have four kids. Anyways. <laughs> I would take myself every day after school to Union. Union is a high contemporary streetwear boutique, so I put myself in that space, ask questions, how did certain things happen, because what led me there was bait. Just like you said, golf courses, you work at a golf course, you put yourself in an environment every day, you're learning, you keep asking questions. That led to yeah the modeling thing, which like also gave me a spring of oh, shit. I'm I'm close, which I was not close at all. <laughs> Had to keep going. Um, 16, 17, 18, 19. So that's me graduating high school. I graduated in 2008, Los Angeles High School. I was supposed to go to college. I was supposed to go to San Francisco State <laughs> for photojournalism because I like to document things. Like take a picture of where I'm at, my environment, share that information. Hence my name again, and it means to share information and light. And I like putting light on things that I think are dope, that I think can help someone in their life. Um, from there, I did go to California Design for, I did, a, I did a year. I did a good year. And then I realized things that were going on around me. I was trying to manage a rapper. I wanted to start a clothing line. I wanted to travel. I'm like, hmm, I can't do these things from school. So who's going to travel for me? I can't. I got fired from my job. This was 2009. My job at the time, I worked for a streetwear brand. Once again, put myself in that space. And yeah, thank you so much. This, these shoes are $120 a piece. He shirt for fifty dollars, and my mother could not afford that at the time from where I was where I grew up. So I had to make my own means, and like I said, keep putting myself in that space. So they saw me being out. Like, Yo, you got a job? I'm like, yeah, but it's not a real job. I get paid under the table for selling white T-shirts and female clothing on Crenshaw, Washington. But that wasn't a real job, but it, it helped. Um, so I took that job. I was there for two years, learning everything from creative direction to how a Art director works and illustrator works, doing the art, how these designs come up. Obviously, they, you pick a name for your brand and it's based, stemmed off that name or whatever the brand was. The brand I was at was Rogue Status. Anyone know what Rogue Status is? Okay. So, you want to know who Rob Garrett is? Okay, you guys know who Travis Barker is? Okay, there we go, Travis. So, Travis Barker is my boss. This is, I'm 17 at the time. Travis Barker is my boss. Everything cool is going on. You go to trade shows, all the shows, all the fun stuff, blah, blah, blah. You get complacent, you get comfortable. Like, oh, I never want to leave this spot. And then you get fired. What would you do in, the, in, that, in that space? Would you give up? Would you just go find another job? I'm too young to be upset and unhealthy. 
So I literally took that pain of hurting someone to fire me and reassessing my way of thinking, looking at the scope of everything. Like, okay, I got fired, but I did X, Y, and Z. And mind you, at the time, too, I had a blog where I was sharing information. And that's why the book is called ericmedic.blogspot.com. You guys even know what blogspot.com is? Anyone? Okay, you know. You had a blog spot? <laughs> hey, how are you? Okay, so, okay, you're here. We're here. <laughs> she had a blog spot. So I had a blog spot. My blog spot, honestly, my shit's low key popping. That's why we got the T-Dot book here. But, uh, so at that time, a lot of kids were like reposting everything was on Hypebeast. Does anyone know what Hypebeast is? Look at you guys, do you know what You guys like Hypebeast? Everybody? Shit's trash today, I'll be honest with you. Before it was dope, like they actually post stuff that they cared about. Now it's all about a dollar. So, but, you know, everything turns into a business. Hence, you think carrots. But yeah. Um, so, I used to go on that site and pour everything I wanted in a form of manifestation. You guys understand manifestation? You guys do understand that what you think can come to you, whether it be positive or negative? So I hope you guys all have a positive state of mind. Or things won't go well for you. So um, I used to take posts from there and then write descriptions about them, whether it be positive or negative, because it's my opinion. It's my blog. I can put on there whatever I want to, whether it be music, fashion, furniture, homes, whether a home is trash or not. I got to write about it. If it triggered me to be inspired, I must write how bad something was. I would do it. And I guess, yeah, I, I put it out there sometimes and a lot will come back from it. <laughs> I met a lot of people from that, like a lot of rappers, especially rappers, because they didn't like how I would talk about things. And it didn't sense of the word, but they respected it because I was keeping it 100%. And I'm like, well, if I was rapping, I would be way more swagged out than you type of shit. It was one of those type of things like I had more confidence than me that I felt like the rappers actually had. And I can like see that through photos and through videos and stuff like that. I don't know if you guys ever sit back and think about stuff like that. Like, uh, that's dope and all that. I can build a better hotel. I can build a better golf course than that. I can build a better building than that one. That one's trash, but it exists. So someone, someone did something right, but eh. So that's my brain every single day. Whether it's a new kid that comes up with a new shirt, and, oh, that's dope. And, like you got all this stuff going on, but I can make better shirt now. But <laughs> stuff like that, so you keep that in you. And let's get back on track. We're, 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 let's see the, the ramble. I'm, up. I'm like trying to stay on topic, but blog spot. Sharing that information got me where I am today, as far as just being honest and being myself has nothing to do with where you guys want to go in life, the golf course or anything like that. But it starts there. It starts being a human. Let me open this book. It's my first time seeing this book in person, too. I just made him. Great people here did pay me to come here, but I took the money to watch you guys t-shirts and books. So I figured we're coming here to talk to the school. Let's educate you guys on the stuff I did at the age you guys are at. So everything in this book starts in 2009, where I was 19. 19 leading up to 2015 when I started care. So everything in this book is from 19 to 25. So today, I stopped there because it was a new journey. Hence, even today, right now, is a new journey. Like, I've, I've never spoken to students at the school I didn't even finish college. I left 09 to literally pursue my dreams of starting a brand, managing a brand, <laughs> managing artists, having my own creative collective. It's like a slew of homies that I had that I know make great art and just went to the left side. Me and Adrian have been rocking with 10 plus years. We only now started working together two years ago. He's my art director now today. He's who can see these shirts, who can come up with ideas. He's an art director. Me, myself, I'm giving you job titles now. Me, myself, I don't touch anything.
How do you feel about that? I feel great about that. How do you guys feel about that? I don't touch him. It's good. It's good for me. <laughs> I just have free will, but obviously we have a relationship where I don't know. We just bounce off, and it's kind of effortless. He's also from my time in Harris, so he understands my ethos and everything I like. So it just makes everything much easier, much better. Guy I worked with before. And this is another thing I also want to share with you guys is working with people, delegating. You guys understand delegation? Okay? All right. Picking those who you want to share your journey with and understanding that. Things do happen within that journey to where someone may feel a type of way from your elevation, your ascension in life, you know? So keep that in mind too, because people are weird. But I don't think Wrong you guys are weird. Yeah, your, your mind, your soul has to be in the right place for everything to elevate, for it to keep going, which is beyond your work ethic. Because you could be in school and learn everything be great at what you do, but if inside isn't in line with what you're doing and your attitude just sucks, just just go start a job, you know? Don't even think about your dream. I say that with all pure honesty. If you have a terrible attitude and you know you have a terrible attitude and you just, <laughs> you want to wish bad on people, well, just go get a job. Anyways. That's why you're trying to cheer today, not that guy. Okay. Thank you. We're good? We got that part done. So. We all have a book. Is everyone have a book? Yeah. I want to start going through the book in the sense of this being the book release too. Don't worry about the text. That's why I kept it short on text. It's more of a QA and a between friends I grew up with who are now in this space doing great things. So my right hand man is Josh Harris, which is Josh Peas. We go together like peas and carrots, so that's my best friend. Weird story, this was, a, like I said, this is a guy I did not like. He did not like me, but we didn't like each other for obvious ego reasons. And we end up loving each other for those same reasons. But even Josh today, Josh started as Casey's road manager. Casey Veggie is a rapper. We pretty much garnered. He's out of Inglewood, California. Well, we helped him go from a 13-year-old that just had a dream of taking everything off my blog and putting it on his blog. <laughs> but he, he, it, was all, it, was, it was all from a good place to where it's like, oh, let me put this guy under my wing. And let's see where it can go, but not in the sense of like, I want to be this great a &R, executive producer. I don't think any of you are thinking about the music space, are you? Anyone? You? You too? Think about music as well? Kinda? Sorta? Yeah. Mind you, you can do everything. You can make a fire-ass building. Go make a fire-ass album right afterwards. You can do everything. Don't. The focus is good to do. I can only focus on one thing at a time, but I'm a cancer. July 1st, and like walk, walk, walks on the beach, and I'm emotional, and everything. But I can only do one thing at a time. So I focus on carrots highly, because that's the main point. But that t shirt can take me anywhere I want to. As long as my brain's there, the soul's there. Hence why I'm here talking to you, telling you the same thing. So, Josh started as a manager today. He's the head of Urban Music over at Amazon Music. And this is a dude, like I said, lived across the street from me. He grew up, we all grew up in South Central, had no means of, <laughs> and he appoints to like, oh, we're going to put you here. It's just like, nah, we have to go through this journey of dealing with people. <laughs> we have to deal with people in our life. So anyways, let's start here. Everything's all imagery. Cause a picture says a thousand words. And these pages have no numbers. And this book is great. Wow. Memories. It's my first time seeing this. I'm trying to find some talking about it. Uh, I'll talk about my friend for a second. 
associates. Always good to have allies. Someone you can bounce ideas off of as well. I have a great friend you guys may know. Are you guys hip to Tyler the Creator? Is the top artist on the spot by his eye. You know, he's cool. This is someone I knew since I moved to Los Angeles. 15 years old, he was. I'm a year older than him. This also goes into the story of people and me actually connecting people. That's another thing I think I'm great at, which is connecting A to Z. Things I feel like need to be connected. I don't want any credit for it. I just see two good people that they can do good things together, AKA they call it collaboration. Me, I just find it as working with good people to learn from one side to the other, just gain perspective. So me and him have been friends since 2005, it's 2023 now. He was making music, he was putting together magazines, he was writing out his own album covers, album track lists of songs that did not exist because his brain was already there. This was a 15 year old that already knew what he wanted to do. That man stayed at it, he stayed consistent with it from 15 all the way up to this man is what, 32 now. 32 year old man, multi-millionaire, went to this man's house, my God. I went to his house before when he was 15, my God. You know, this is one of those things, this perspective, and how focus can really take you from A to Z. By a show of hands, how many of you, be honest, how many of you aren't focused in class? Be honest, it's, shit, I was that guy too, it's cool, so it's all right. I just know the term where you're gonna be, I told you I dropped out, it's all right. Reason being, your brain's focused on something else, obviously, right? It's not like you're just falling asleep unless the guy just bored you to death, but it happens, it happens, it happens. But you have to find a way to reassess your thinking and find the good in everything. Whether it be certain words, I, I try to tell people, like even with the lecture thing, most people want to hear short, sweet advice over a lecture. The lecture sounds like wah, 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 wah. Me, that's why I try to give you keywords and on the surface things that you can grasp and take back with you. Like, damn, like this guy made some sense. He wasn't like the most over intellectual type, because that's just not my swag, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I speak just like you guys, and you guys technically speak the same way to you, deceased. So, I like to be able to connect with two-year-olds to 92-year-olds, because I have four kids myself. It may not seem like it, but I do have four children. Which also makes me grateful to even talk to you guys, too, because I was once your age. And I'm still trying to figure out where I'm going to lead this to next. Do you guys want me to speak on anything other than music and clothes? <coughs> I'm just trying to give you guys life lessons. And your hands up, just um, come on. What is your process of like taking ideas that you have and putting them into actuality or creation? Prime example is man's jacket I was just talking about. I could be having a conversation, just look and say, yo, shit, that jacket's amazing. It's like, the cut on the back, oh, that work work. I take inspiration from anything. I'm only one person, so I can't say that for the next person, but just like you saying buildings, you might be outside, it's like, ah, uh, that window's off about four inches. I would have slid that over to the left a little bit more, or I would have made this 15% smaller. But I don't know if that kind of answered your question, but me, I take inspiration for anything. But specifically speaking, I kind of have a cheat code. My brain's called carrots, so kind of have an ethos within itself. You have the farm aesthetic I can go touch on. Next collection is based off a scarecrow, which is a, another farm. It's just little stuff, like we can do a full collection on dirt, do a full collection on soil. I can do a full collection on clay dirt, which is a whole other dirt, another country, another region. It's a different color, a different texture. You know, like, it's inspiration everywhere. For sure, and just to jump in, Amar is probably the most hilarious, I want to say, just owner, collaborate, anything, because he'll text me at 2, 3 in the morning with Crazy. ideas, 
and that's just how he operates, and that's how we operate. Because it's just an unspoken language, honestly. Everything's very visual. He'll send me a picture, I'll give him a 30 skew collection in a week. I'll put one image, and he's crazy because he'll get up at 3 o'clock in the morning and just start. But and that, that comes with the freedom, fun. too, yeah, which is why I said me having four children. Please don't go out having four children right now. <laughs> okay? Because you will not get to where you want to go. <laughs> I, I made that choice by myself because everything was okay. You know, we got a little Van Cleef on the wrist, a little crumb hearts here. You know, I can, I can take care of little four babies here and there. But don't go do that because it'll, it'll, it'll blow off your focus. But children are great. Hence why you guys are here, too. You know? <laughs> but did that answer your question? Do you guys have a question off of, off of that? You and then you next? Wow, that's very quick. The reason why I created it is hip hop, man. It's rap. Like, that's the culture I, was, I grew up in. That's what I saw. And come rap, come stop. It's like, you need to know what the music looked like, you know? Like, you know, you talk about seeing sounds. This is seeing sounds. You know, burgundy with the drab green, drab green pants, whatever. You got Tyler, the creator. He has his own innate style that matches the music. I care about the music, I care about the clothes. And like I said, Nico, if it, well, there, there wasn't a beta name, I don't think I would have been that inspired to want to make clothes. Obviously, we grew up on our Sean Johns, this is the youth, your Boo Boo is your Nietzsche, or maybe you guys had it grown up on that thing, but this is what I grew up on, it was everywhere, but it was never that inspired to where I was like, yo, I want to do this. It was just how that band created, it was another region of the world, I was very, I'm not even was. I'm very infatuated by Japan and how he was also able to take Western culture and tastefully mix it with Japanese culture, with way of color, with way of fitting, because he had a certain fit that he wanted that gave him a silhouette when he stepped outside. So that was like your own, like you can see me a thousand miles away, you know, it's type it's me type shit. So. I think that's why I care. That's, it's very simple for me. Like I, I kept that same mentality from a 16-year-old to I am now. Like I look at the same stuff that inspired me when I started to help inspire me. I'm never jaded. There's no reason to be jaded. There's so much more to accomplish. There's so much more to do. Like she put the bug in my ear with the whole hotel thing. I was even thinking about it the other day. I went to this spot with, with the fam. It's called Hotel Inez out in San Inez in California. It's like seven rooms, but it was well curated. It had like a little botanical garden outside. The rooms were all inter interior decorated by the owner of the hotel. So you got to feel of who this person was by seven rooms. You don't really need to accomplish the 260 room hotel with the great restaurant, blah, 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 blah. Like just starting small a lot of times helps like with the brand. Started with started with one shirt, really, from the PNC stuff. When I got the by the time I got the carriage, we started at what, 1920s, that was the way, by the time I got the money, money. We all don't like to think about money, but the money is what's gonna get us where we're gonna go. I'm just be honest with you. And money, please don't be afraid to ask whoever you know has money to help you with money if you have an idea. Just give them a good little business plan, X, Y, Z. I got hit with that for asking for money. You get what I'm saying? Like most people won't tell you that because they were like, oh, go follow your dreams, you're gonna make it. No, you're not gonna make it without money. I'll just be honest with you because these t-shirts cost, and the ink costs. That shirt alone has what, four colors on it, five colors. Shipping, shipping here was like a rack, two racks. That's shipping the damn shirts in the books. You know what I'm saying? This is way to get away. So people not really, people never really put that in perspective or speak about that. But to get money, yes. We live in a black and white world. You either get a job or ask somebody. And I'm not going to tell you to do the, the third, or fourth thing to do because it's just like not the right thing to do. But it's kind of on the surface. We all know that. But just yeah, make sure you have some kind of capital and just start small. Unless. You get a big fund of money. You just start wherever you want to start, and you don't have to listen to me. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? <laughs>
Okay, back to what I was saying. We didn't have the money to buy one shirt, to make one shirt. And then, yeah, I lost my train of thought, but don't worry about it. The main thing that matters is the money. That was like the main part of this whole lecture too that I wanted to let people know. Don't ever be stuck because of the money. Like, oh, I don't want to start this because I don't have the money to do it. We all find a way to get some money. We all got shoes, we all have books, we all have headphones, you all have Jordans. It's just what you put your money towards. It's the same thing as like where you put your body. It's all energy. Money's not real, the vanity's not real. What matters is the care. Okay, my guy. How did you like choose carrots as like the brand? Like, what about carrots that like, inspired you? Guys? It's back to the basics. Sixteen years old. You heard of carrot time? Anybody know why carrot time? Road nineties. Why is it carrot time? Anybody know why it's carrot time? Huh? Look at Karis like a, a name brand, more so like a Marc Jacobs or a Ralph Lauren. And mind you, these are, well, Marc Jacobs is Marc Jacobs, that's his real name. Ralph Lauren's name's not even Ralph Lauren. So I ran with the Karis thing, because one, I, people called me Karis from high school. I, they also called me Aunt Weezy, but I'm not just about to run with Weezy F. Baby's nickname. I'm like, yo, I'm Aunt Weezy. Here's my brand, Aunt Weezy. Like, nah, that shit just wasn't going to fly. But the Karis thing stuck with me. Uh, I related more to that than my actual last name, and my last name is Carrots. I changed my last name to Carrots. That's a $600 fee, by the way. If you do think about changing your last name, it's only $600. Just go through the process, make sure you have birth certificate, and shit like that. Just like how Frank Ocean's name is Frank Ocean, same, same situation. But yeah, very simple nickname that stuck, and I ran with it. A million miles running. Well, you already started off. I know you like a lot of photographs and stuff, but do you like Hence what I said, I touch nothing. Oh, okay. Nothing. So I'm one, because like I said, I'm a connector, and I do believe I have an innate sense of taste and style to where I can look at someone or look at their work and like, yo, you're doing a thousand percent better than what I could do. So why the hell am I doing this when you can do this for me a thousand percent? Which means make sure you have some. You need money to be able to help pay that person who's a thousand percent better than you. So in the sense of your question, like, yeah, this guy's a thousand percent better than me on a damn computer, so why am I touching him when he's way better? And it's also about giving that person credit for being better than you, you know? And having the confidence to say that, yeah, that person's way better than me at this. That's how you succeed. If you don't do sketches or touch the computer, it's also having that taste to where you can elevate someone and put that person on. That's where putting people on comes from. Like, oh, yo, he hawk. Yeah, him? Yeah. Come here. I'm going to give you X amount of dollars for 300 or 100 grand. That's how a lot of even the music, the music industry happens. It's just finding great talent. If you're not the talent yourself. But my talent is here rather than being here. So obviously, this is 
perspective, better perspective, sit here. This word carrots, obviously, the word carrots itself, you can't just file in Rome because it already exists, right? So you can't take the word dookie and like trademark dookie because dookie is just something that's already on, on earth. But if it was dookie by on more carrots, you can file that because that's your actual name, that's your actual intellectual property. So own an intellectual property to where you can actually make products from t-shirts to pants to shoes. It's super popular to where a great guy in career is like, oh shit, your brain is fire. Can I license your brain? Yes, you can. Please. It makes my brand much bigger and it spreads the brand to a there's a demographic that I would be able to reach other than Instagram and Twitter. The world's big. We don't live in a small world. Like people say, oh, the world is so small. It's so huge. Billions of people that do billions of different things. But to answer your question, yes, it makes everything much easier because they have their own team for me. They have their own graphic design team. They have their own art team, which has nothing to do with us. But all we have to do is look at them. You guys get it because they've been watching my brand for so long. To where it's like, I know your brand. They go like, I can do it better than you, but you're doing it for me. So, yeah, hell yeah, you guys go do that. So, like, and then other artists, they're like, hey, bro, I was thinking about you. I would do my 25 graphics. You would have 25 graphics? I didn't do anything that they would change diapers. So, yeah, you, you helped my life. So, did I answer the question? And then licensing, that comes with the percentage of the sales they may accumulate from selling your brand in a different region. So yes, you get paid for that. That's what licensing is. The shit is so powerful to where they want your intellectual property. Let me see. I'm trying to use another example here. Your headband. Say the headband you're wearing is your intellectual property. That's your brand. You make millions of those headbands. You're like, oh my god. Can we do those headbands for Brazil? Headband Brazil? I'll give you 10% every quarter of sales. And that quarter sales said they made 20 million every quarter. You get 10%. That's good, right? You know, you see what Because you did the work already for 10 years. That's nice. Okay, it was good. What is it? What is it? Tell me this, are you guys bored? In front. You said somebody in the front? I see you. I'm coming to you. I would not say anything else is better than travel. A book can't even give you 
with that type of knowledge. A book can tell you about a place, but that's not about another person telling you their experience. It's like, screw your experience. I'm going to embarrass myself and like, write my own book, you know? So, try to Because, obviously, we have an internet. We can research any word, anything we want to, if that's like our brain. But to be on ground and use all your five senses is just a whole different, a whole different ballgame. And just using your brain and your eyes to retain, you know? Travel. What the hell? Okay. But, yeah. Other than that, we will just revert back to what we were raised from music to food to the places we went with our family, but that's not general experience. Your own experience is just a free, it's just a free feel that you did it yourself, you know? And nobody had any opinion on where you're going. Stop you from where you want to go, or what you want to look at, what you want to smell, what you want to taste, what you want to see. Travel, 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 travel. Even if it's a car travel, because that's what the East Coast man, this is the best, this is the best outlet. West Coast, you can't travel anywhere that it's what, Washington, Oregon, California. That's it. Maybe a metro off to Colorado or Utah, but not much there, but other than nature, and nature's inspiring too, but you guys have the whole southeast region to touch. You have the whole northeast region to touch. It only takes, from Virginia, you're in the middle of everything. It's like, what, 10 hours, maybe, probably 10 less to get to New York, another 10 to get to Florida. I'm from the east, too, so I know the route from the I-95, from Miami all the way to New York. So there's no excuse but travel, just travel. If you don't have a car, Tony has a car, somebody got a car. You guys get spring break, go travel. I would say that was some travel. I don't like people to burn out. This goes back to me not touching anything. I don't get burnt out. He might get burnt out, but that also. What was, the, what was the question? She, she said, how do you deal with burnout? But he's another animal. This also goes back to us being humans, and like what our personality is, what our emotions are like. <laughs> if you feel like you're going to get burnt out, relax. You matter more than design. You know, you are design. You have eyes and shit. Like, you have fingers to spire. We have a heartbeat. That heart stops, you can't design shit. That brain goes left. You can't think about that. So. Yeah, I, I think it, that just comes with experience as well. You're gonna get burned out in the beginning just because you want to get shit done. You want to work hard. You want to put your name out there. But as experience comes, shit actually gets easier. If that makes sense. Like, again, making a collection ten years ago would have took me months. Now takes me weeks at that just because the experience is already there and my brain's programmed how to whip shit up shortcuts yeah easy as that but yeah for getting burned out do i get burned out now yeah sometimes because i don't only work with or for anwar i have my other shit that's going on as well with other brands i work with so anwar is not though like if we have to do a spring summer collection for He's 24 I have Beast to. and paintball shoot. You will yeah. take your hell. This guy is an assassin. So thank you. Thank you. He but, can probably get burnt out off of just norm core way of life and hobbies. You know, there's just balance, but keep going. Yeah, like and like again, I'm not only doing one collection for one brand, I'm doing it for three. And it's like fuck, same deadline, because we're all under the same triple set. <laughs> And Lord knows the schedule now, but we're all under the same umbrella, so it's like, fuck, I gotta get shit done for three brands, not one. Yeah. Like right now, I have to do Anwar's collection, which is due last week, but life fucking happens. You know? <laughs> you, you adapt and get it done, and yeah. Getting burned out, though, yeah, don't, don't worry about it either. That's gonna happen. That's gonna be forever, especially if you love something. So. That's where we, the care, the care, right? And if you feel tired, let whoever know, like, hey, I'm tired. I need to take a week off to just go.
to look at birds. <laughs> to come to Virginia. Exactly. Don't worry about it right now. You've got it. Who was up here that was, is it you? So part of that, me just floating with words and talking about people and connecting with people is also perspective of bounce and ideas and the whole money talk. It's help. It's ask for help, man. That's the only thing. Because deep down inside, obviously, you know, we were all raised, like even from a baby, like, no, no, I got it. We all think we can do everything. We can't do everything. Like, we have to bring the friggin' Yeah, <laughs> we don't have to bring an octopus, man. Like, you just have to ask for help, take a break, drink some juice, drink some water, or watch Bluey or something. I don't know. Like, what do we just have to take time? I always say hope because that's how I work. I'm a collaborator. It's like if I got a roadblock or something I can't, then I'm going to ask somebody who does it better than me. And if I just don't have that, just got to just keep going and keep chugging and just get it through, even if it's not at its perfection. I'm not a perfectionist type of person. Like, I don't really care about perfect, whatever perfect is. As long as I get the job done, I know I can do it better next time, okay, next time around. Or I can look at it like, oh, I could have did this 10 times better if my brain wasn't there. But I still did it. You give yourself a pat on the back. Don't ever stress yourself about that part. There's like back there about like crash time. Just take the time. Did that help? Sure. Um, No, there's uh, a, <laughs> that, that's like the, I, I hate when I hear people say like, I'm not inspired, I'm not motivated, and it's like, look at where we're at, you know, there's motivation, there's inspiration. Every we have a brand called, we're making a brand off of carrots, people. It, it, yeah, Damn vegetable. It's, it's not, it's not as hard as people may think, to be honest with you. Um, Inspiration, I, I find it, I find it everywhere. I find it coming here. This was more, I got so much inspiration, the Airbnb we're at. Woke up this morning, there's 10 cows. God damn, like, we don't see that normally, you know? <laughs> yeah, we drove and saw like 12 deer just posted at somebody's crib. Like, yo, look at this. But it, it's also the people who you surround yourself with, though, too. You know, be around some people that you like, that inspire you. If, if you don't, you're just going to be like, you know, you are who you hang out with. Like Dude. that means so much. It holds so much weight. It's the truth. Too much Surround weight. yourself with people that have the same goals as you. Don't, don't have a pride in college. Don't have an ego in college. Like this is where you guys are supposed to click up, help each other out. Because in the real world, that's where you guys are going to compete. You guys are not supposed to compete right now. Period. You know what I mean? Like, wait till you guys get in the real world. And even at that point, don't compete because the money's going to fucking come. A lot of people, especially, I don't want to say your age, but around your age, a little bit older, mid-20s, everything's so much about money. Am I right, Anwar? Or That's they think why it's, I bring up the money situation. It's like, exactly. Or they there's only two ways to get money. Either ask for it or work for it. Exactly. Or people think it's, it's overnight and it's fucking not. Like, I barely knew what I wanted to do four years ago, and I'm 34, you know what I mean? And I, I was, I used to be a teacher at college. I thought that was gonna be the end all be all. And I was like, no, I got an opportunity with Anwar. I remember this, honestly. We had a mutual friend named Christian. I Shall I see lot, I, Yeah, I owe a lot to him, just like I owe a lot to Anwar. He came up to me, he was like, man, like, fuck teaching. like." <laughs> there, there's more money out here, you know what I mean? Yeah, the benefits were good, but I didn't, you know, I didn't look at it like I didn't benefit.
benefits, I'll come later, I'm good. Well, we had a gig. I, I forgot what it was. We met with Anwar. We, we didn't even sign a deal. It was a verbal lead. Like, yeah, just do what you guys do. Our first thing was Crocs. Don't worry, yeah, Crocs. Was that, was Crocs. that was our first was, project. That was like my hit record. And <laughs> yeah, we got paid. Because, yeah, we got paid. And I was like, fuck, got paid more than what I did teaching in a month just off of the Crocs. Shout out, to, shout out to Anwar. And I put in my two, I didn't even put in a two week notice. I felt bad for the students, but at the same time, <laughs> at the same time, they understood where I was coming from too, because I hit, I hit the roof where I was at. I didn't follow the curriculum because I didn't, I thought it was bullshit to be honest with you. I was someone that was in the industry and I knew the world where they wanted to be at, but the curriculum said otherwise. And I would always be in class like, Throw your books away, we're not using these. Like, we're doing something else. Yeah, uh, HR and all that caught into that. Wow. <laughs> but, and all that. But anyways, I remember, I remember that, that happened, shout out to Anwar, man, that was, yeah, that was. And I also chime in on that too, like once you get to a certain space too, it's like, you can't get uninspired, because they're throwing new ideas at you to work with, especially like, we're in space now, where right? like, they're coming with the full concept. Some of them know what they want, so like, wow. Okay, like you understand carrots in some sense of the word, so we gotta just like quick tweak a little bit of stuff. So that's inspiring too to see how much people also put care into your project for themselves as well. So I wouldn't worry about not getting inspired. You probably if you're in not, not inspired, you're like you just don't care. Yeah, honestly, because inspiration's on your phone. And you just you search. <laughs> we have walkable computers, man. No yeah. iPhones. You can't not get inspired. Anything you think of, anything, you just, and you're there. Thanks. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you. You ready for some cocky confidence? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Honestly, to, to be real with you, it's just, because I'm not afraid to ask questions. I'm not afraid to ask for money. I'm not afraid to ask for an opportunity. I'm not afraid to ask for shit, just get yeah, the opportunity. More, more so like I thought I have an opportunity. If somebody give me a space to, to show off, I'm gonna show off. That's just that's my MA self. Like I'm not gonna waste it. So yeah, I think yeah, for me from 16, I didn't, I didn't know when. I just like just keep going at it because I love the life I was living, I love the stuff I was around, so I'm not really thinking about how long it's going to take. Because when it should pop and pop, it don't, it don't matter. Like some people may have importance that they, they start doing whatever they're doing. It's just, you just got to go out and tuition. But for me, it was just the care kept me going. I'm 32, still like, like this. I'm 16. So, yes, I didn't know. And it's honestly, it's. We're what, eight years now with Carrots. So prior to Carrots, I had PZ Carrots International, which was another brand, which was me and two other partners, which was PZ and the rapper. Then got separated because it was just, like I said, people. Whether it be your family or friends can mess the whole, mess the whole shit up if they don't understand what's going on within your own circle of how your business or your project is separate, you know? So like, you might have an outsider come in like, ow, why, 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 why you do that? I'm, I'm saying this because it's experience. Why are you letting them do that? You can do this by yourself. Right. <laughs> no one can do anything by themselves, but there are some people that can do stuff by themselves, but even those people still get help because they may need help on the back inside of answering emails because their brain might not function in that space of like answering an email and following up with people because there's so much so many variables that go with this whole thing to like make things come to fruition that people don't really understand it to be in it. Yeah, just follow your intuition. Don't listen to outsiders that definitely don't know what the hell's going on, what you got going on, and just push it. Things will be okay. It'll be fun. And that's why, like, once I made the decision to stop my first previous brand, because I felt like there were too many outsiders that I don't even know who these people are for starting to come in. Like, I don't want to do this anymore, because it was taking fun out. So now you're trying to tell me how to do How is that possible? I told this kid how to do it, so you didn't, you didn't even believe in this person until you started seeing it.
swag for to like use somebody else's opportunity. It was never said any good. You would know it was good because people would come and show Yo, I'm gonna help. Nah. Uh, I think that you think, yo, that's so weird, so weird, that's so weird, because I didn't know where you were thinking two weeks ago or the last week or a month ago, because I was fine for that. Just follow your intuition. Don't let any outside in. It's always good to get keep certain things, too. Like, I gotta say that because yeah, you want to succeed. Everybody can't go. A lot of times the best, the best way to succeed by yourself is to do it by yourself. That's how you get help. That's how I can see what I mean. I always love that question because I have no end goal question. I mean, end goal of care. So what's next? 
What is next? Next up is, and I have daddy brain, so I don't really know what's next. Next up, uh, spring, no, spring, summer 23. I have a full collection of my next. On top of that, uh, those basics up there got canceled. Uh, I actually got, so my first collaboration, so I wouldn't say my end of, I would say this, my top, my favorite collaboration, my first collaboration that got me here today, which was through Rock Nation. I don't know if you guys know what Rock Nation is. What's Rock Nation? Right? Who's Rock Nation? It's like, it's like uh, <laughs> they're like Diddy, Jay Z, and Rock Nation. Jay Z, Jay Z, Wale, Rich Klein, and Help Me Get My Movie. Wale, not to say, but Rock Nation is like heavily partnered. We had a, had a co-management deal with the with three cases. So like even with him, it's like just stick to the stick to the vision pretty much and then take it all the way there to the maximum, I guess, view of what a rapper wants. You get the record deal with Wild Rapper Management, Chase E. But on top of that, because that was created, that's not that I got my own deal with Ten years later. And I kept going. My father was not there to pay me up for anything. But we were here today, so the pool is mixed up for next year. So you guys, I'm sure you guys will see a lot of that because it's, it's going to be a very good campaign. I think we're waiting for I think what you're asking, I think next year will be successful. And I'll hold you to that one. But for right now, Yeah, MySpace. MySpace was the first. 
first, what was it? It was the first Snapchat, or is it the first Instagram story? But like, oh, that's what's going on. Or the first Instagram post was MySpace, but we just both of them. I remember just like, I remember launching brands from working at Rosetta. So, uh, so there's this brand called Black Scale. I don't know if you guys have heard of Black Scale or familiar with this. You guys know ASAP Rocky. So, ASAP Rocky popped off this brand that I pretty much started on my It's kind of wild to say, it's like, how does that even make sense? So the guy I knew was a mentor to me, he had a brand that was only sold at the store that I managed where I worked at. The only person to come and pervade the brand was me, because I'm the only one using the social for the actual brand I was working at. So I would always just I'll make it rain bulletins with this brand that was in there. Also, I be from you tired.
this wasn't about me, this was about you guys. So I highly appreciate you guys for listening to me. If you got bored, thank you. If you weren't bored, thank you. You still had to come listen to me. You had to wear my shirt. But I do want you guys to all come up here and take a picture of me. You guys want to do that for me? Do I want anything signed or book signed? Do you guys have books? I'll sign the shit, so let's get it. I know y'all got a shit to do. Let's hurry up, let's take it quick. Jacob, you're Ain't no way. Running jump. Running